Hi boys and girls, it's uh, Phil at PJT Forging. Uh, if you didn't see in the last episode, we are working on this guy. Uh, this is Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, if you don't know. Uh, and last episode, obviously, we completed his head. Um, this next episode, we're going to be working on the body and on the sword. And I'm hoping it's going to be easier than this. Um, I'm thinking there's going to be a lot less horrible, niggledy pingledy tight angles. So, uh, with any luck, it will be a slightly simpler process. But we shall see. So... There's nothing to do but to do it, so let's get on with it and see how it goes. Thank you for watching. It's a new day! Ow. There we go. That was a lot of grinding. Um, but we got there and it is all done. But as you might be able to tell, I've run out of light. So uh, this is all I'm going to be able to do for today. Um, what I will do now is probably just mark out the sword, I think. Right then, for the sword, I am not going to be doing the 3D polygon version of this. All I've done instead is I've bought a piece of 6mm thick plate steel. Uh, and I'm just going to simply cut this shape out, and I'm going to grind in the bevel. Um, I will drill some holes still for these, and I'll try and square them off using files, I think. But, um, yeah, I think asking for me to make this out of 3mm thick, uh, almost like a sort of hollow box, that's quite a big ask with the welding. I think, especially like along the sharp edge, um, the welding would just burn straight through, and I'd end up with this really horrible, wibbly-wobbly burned edge, uh, instead of a nice sharpened one, so... That's the plan for that. Again, the light has died on me, so I'm going to have to do this all tomorrow, as well as uh, carving in the folds in the uh, shapes. So, that is that for now. Okay, so I've centre punched my first hole just here. I'm just making it a little bit, a little bit more pronounced. Uh, and the gap between the two is, according to this, three point. Oh, sorry, uh, thirty-two and a half mil. So what I've done is I've used my uh, 90 degree elbow to work out a straight line and now I can just measure 3.25 centimetres or 32.5 mil, which is there. Perfect. Now I'll need to drill those out after I've cut this piece out. I'll just make that a little bit more pronounced again. Okie cokey. So we're now uh, drawing on the uh, score marks onto each of the pieces of metal here. This is the pile still to go, these are the ones which have been completed. Slow progress, but we're getting there. Uh, I'm tidying up the edges with a file as we go, because there's a lot of clean up here. All of this has come off it. Blech. Holy moly, that took a long time. Over two hours to just mark these up, ready for grinding and welding tomorrow. That was painful. I could barely stand with my knees. I was sat on the floor and just in agony when I tried to get up. Ugh, oh, the things we do for YouTube. Well, I'm a bit of an insomniac, and whilst I've still got some time tonight, I'm going to go through making the paper craft again using more terrible instructions. Um, I can just give it a go, and at least that way I kind of know which way things need to fold, so I know which side I'll need to cut uh, or score the steel on. So, check back in in another couple of hours probably, because the last time this was a nightmare.
Well, as you can see, he's not finished, but this is as far as I'm going to take it. Uh, I figured out the trousers, I figured out the feet, I've figured out the arm. Uh, obviously, there'll be two of these. Um, and then this part will be the top half of the body. The middle part's still missing because uh, I ran out of steel and I still need to cut that one out. So I'll have to come back to that later. But uh, this was a good experiment to figure out uh, exactly what I need to do. But it's now quarter to two in the morning, so I think that's a good time to call it a day. Let's get started on scoring! So, whereas when I was doing the head, I cut out all the pieces, scored them all, and then fit them up all at the same time. For this one, I'm going to be doing it piece by piece. So obviously here we've kind of got his, like, Hakima pants, and his uh, sort of waistline. Uh, so I'm going to start off just welding these two together, and then this is going to act as a sort of a reference for the rest of the shape, I believe. Um, but as you can see, that goes together quite well. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. Um, might need a bit of hitting with a hammer once it's welded, just to get it completely into shape. Well... With frankly spectacular timing, the uh, beautiful British winter has decided to set in and it has absolutely chucked it down on everything I'm working on. So the welding has had to stop, but I've carried on grinding because why not? This is so much easier than welding the head. This is where we're up to so far. And we've now just got to do the feet, and that'll be his bottom half complete. Uh, then it'll be a case of working on the torso. Well, here we go again. I managed to just get the second foot welded. As you can st see, it's still hot. Um, I've been welding in the rain. I, there's probably a big no-no in regards to safety, because obviously electrics, water, high voltage, high ampage. What could possibly go wrong? But... I wanted to get it done. I think I might try and just weld the feet on and then call it a day there. There we go. Bottom half all done. It's still raining. Still miserable. So uh, I think that's probably where I'm going to have to leave it for today. I've still got to do all of the top half pieces and the arms. But that's going to have to wait, I'm afraid. All things considered, not bad really. Hey boys and girls, uh, as you might be able to tell from my voice, uh, tontalitis has been absolutely kicking my ass for the last couple of days. So uh, I apologise for the delay in this video. Um, unfortunately, going outside in the cold and inhaling some metal fumes is probably not in my best interest at the moment. So uh, it won't really matter in the grand scheme. You'll still be seeing this video as and when it's uploaded. But just from my own point of view, I don't like leaving you guys waiting. So sorry about that. So I realised that both the feet had gotten full of water uh, when I'd been washing it. I'd left it in the sink to cool down and they'd uh, they'd filled up with water. Uh, and the, the hole they'd leaked through was so small that the water couldn't escape. So I've drilled a couple of holes in each of the feet. And what I'm going to do now is uh, heat them up with the uh, little, little blowtorch here. And hopefully that'll be enough to uh, let it come out of steam. <laughs> there we go. Cloud the steam engine. Right, some good news and some bad news. Good news is the final piece of steel I've needed to arrive has uh, finally got here for the last two pieces. Um, that's all marked up and ready to go whenever. Uh, the bad news is this tonsillitis that I've had for the last basically week and a half is still absolutely owning me at the moment. Um, whilst my voice is a lot better than it was, I'm still feeling as rough as a bad desire. So uh, I think we're during my day job I've been working a couple of night shifts uh, it just hasn't given my body much of a chance to uh, recover and heal so I'm still feeling the effect of that um, I was going to try and finish this video on part two but uh, unfortunately I'm going to Latvia uh, for a couple of days in a couple of days uh, and I think it's more important for me to start feeling better before that rather than uh, you know complete uh, a metal sculpture so I'm sorry that is what it is but um, you know sickness is sickness what can you do so this will be the end of part two. Uh, I'll upload part three as and when I, I get back, uh, or rather I'll make a start on part three as and when I get back, and I'll upload that as soon as I can. So apologies for the delay, but again, I'm more worried about giving you guys content than uh, necessarily rushing things and uh, doing a bit of a slapdash job. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, that'd be great. It really helps me out when you do that. Um, again, I'm sorry, what can you do? I'm as frustrated by this as you guys are, but never mind. See you on the next one. Cheers, guys.